They were given an opportunity to, 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 to so give know, their last two cents. Okay, I'm just count. let him. This Ridley Report is brought to you by Libertania.com. I understand the mayor indicated, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that the police department is getting overtime at the 33-hour mark. Is that correct? Did I mishear? I, I, am, I heard that tonight. I can't uh, confirm its accuracy. Okay. But that, that's what was said. There's also an issue with, I guess the city has a drug line that it's, that it's running, a drug hotline where you can report drug offenders. I'm not aware of it. Would you support the existence of such a line? Uh, I'd have to know more about what a proposal like that would entail. Okay, I think it already exists, but I think so. I, I don't claim I, I to know the details. So, but I don't All claim right, to know. thanks so much, sir. Yep. So, you like the fact that we have no more stop signs, no more speed bumps? I never pay attention to those. Alderman, I understand the city is running sort of some sort of a drug hotline where people can report their neighbors. Really you're, you're skewing your opinion. just went through. No, I don't no, 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 They were given an opportunity to, to, to so you give know, their last two cents. Okay, I'm just count. let him. We're not doing anything. I, I'm just letting you know it's a matter of courtesy. But they all, you know, they had, they both had an opportunity to respond to their last words, and that was it. There's like a train of people that keep going into that room. I wonder if there's an exit from that room that's secret. Alderman, I've got a question for you. I understand that the city is running some sort of a drug hotline where people can call in and report their neighbors. Is this correct? I don't know. Would you support the existence of such a hotline? If it's in their operating budget. If people are taking and selling illegal drugs, then well, I shouldn't be doing that, right? Uh, who are you to say exactly? Well, hold on. All right. Out of control. That's out of control. I guess another question I would have is, to what extent is, you you know... Are you Mr. Ripley? Yeah, I'm Ripley. I knew you were. I mean, I what, happened to my, what happened to Chris King? Oh, you mean with his case with the uh, trying yeah. to get Kelly out? Fred T-Bone with the... Uh, yeah, I, well, I haven't seen Chris King around. But it's a while. fairly typical type of case with uh, citizen litigators. He didn't win in court, but he tied up the Republican Party in knots, and he did a lot of other, well, you know... Well, yeah, I saw him doing that. All right. Fair enough. Take care. You too. These two are leaving a different way than they came in. And so is she. They're all escaping. <laughs> run away. Run away. Well, let's see if it, by going outside I might be able to catch one or two of the escapees. I'm giving myself about a 30% chance. <laughs> okay, so was that an escape attempt, guys, well, going out a different way than you came in? Actually, this is the way we came in. Uh, well, how did I catch Good you night. going in the other way then? <laughs> well, maybe you did both ways. I don't know. Well, one question I do have. Uh, I understand the city runs a drug line for turning in your neighbors. How is that different from the Stasi in East Berlin? Should taxpayers be forced to underwrite such an informant regimen, surveillance, state? Well, I don't think we pay for it. Taxpayers don't pay for it? I don't believe so. I think it's a, a separate company. Because a volunteer, a company is funding the drug war? Uh, hey, Pam. We'll have to, okay, great. We'll have to look into that. Oh, yeah, I'm not holding my breath. Well, if you call me, I'll look into it. Oh, all right, thanks. It's, uh, it's Dave Ridley with RidleyReport.com. It's like a poor man's TV station. Yeah. I have 
for what it's worth, I have New Hampshire's number two YouTube channel. So. Oh, I haven't seen it. I'll check it out. Yeah, just Google me. <laughs> Thanks for answering more questions than the rest of them would. Oh, really? Oh, you know, it's been <laughs> want to get home sometimes, you know. All right. So. But thank you for expressing interest. <laughs> oh, well, thank you for thanking me. Hardly anyone does. Oh. <laughs> so, right. Have a nice night. All right, thanks. You too. A Country Called Prohibition. It's the new book in the Libertania series. Follow, or rather watch your children follow, the adventures of Mary Jane as she travels from her free country to a more familiar land known as Prohibition. How would marijuana be treated in a free society? How would its residents voluntarily protect themselves from attack by authoritarian countries? I bet you don't have the perfect answer yet, but your kids might after they read this. A book so non-aggressive, it's probably banned at your local tax school. Libertania.